light, you feel me? I bought a light from Walmart. This was like $12 and I put it together myself. So I got a little lighting. I may start doing my makeup looks right here now that I got more lighting. And I think, let me see. It's a little clearer than usual, so yeah. Anyways, on to the haul. I have another beauty haul for you guys. And you see I got my red lips on, girl. Child, I think I'm grown. I think I'm grown with these red yeah. lips, huh? Okay, so on my lips right now, I'm just gonna get right to it. This is the Revlon Love That Red Super Lux Luxurious Lipstick. And basically, it's like a matte lipstick. Very matte and very in your face and bright. It was five, so let's say it was six dollars. Six dollars for this. And it's well worth it because amazing, amazing color. And it pops, it complements your skin. Because sometimes you can get some red lips or red lip gloss that's just like, a, you know, that off red. It's just, it just be red. But this is a nice, bright, but it complements brown skin very, very well. And if you want to do like some blush on the side, it really complements it really well. So I really, really love this lipstick. I actually bought it two days ago. Because I'm doing a, I did a look plan around last night. Um, I'll show a picture of it. Red lip I had in that picture you just seen is actually this, and this is the very, this is the cheaper one. This is Inductively Sheer by Black Radiant, and it's just a very it's red, but it's not like a bright red. It's very you know you seen the picture subtle, but it still shows up very very well. This one's by Kiss, and Kiss is very affordable. Like a beauty supply store line, and it's just a nice pink. You know I love pink lips, like seriously pink lips. <laughs> It's my thing. It's my ish. I'm telling you. So I got this one, and it's by Kiss New York. And it's very, very. It shows up really well. I was very surprised. And this is how it looks. Twenty times better than Pink Gold by NYX. I'm, I promise you. Cheaper. And to me, sometimes NYX is a little overrated because half those glosses that I've tried from them, I get the same effect from Simple Colors. So I just took the Simple Colors one. Bam. Look at this. Look at that. Amazing. The bomb. The shit? Yes. This pink, it just bomb. I love, love, love this pink. And this one's called Fuchsia. This pink is actually more pigmented than this lipstick. So you put them together, it's like, bam. Another lipstick I bought tonight. So I haven't tried this one yet, but I wanted to buy it anyway. This and this called one's called Fifth App Fuchsia. So this one's called Fuchsia and this called Fuchsia. So I'm gonna put it next to the pink to see how it works. That's why I bought it. This is going to be the itch. I'm telling you. I cannot wait to put this on. So that is Fuchsia right there. Look at that. So these are all three affordable pinks that you can buy that looks amazing on brown skin. And it's nothing against, you know, if you're lighter. It's just a lot of brown skin women have the issue with wearing color on their face, period. So I'm just showing you that you can get away with these. They look amazing on us. And, um, yeah, these... Pink right here. I'm just gonna go through them real quick. These are all simple color <laughs> glosses. I have an official simple color look um, video I made a long time ago. I have to find it. It's like in the list of my videos. So you can check that out if you want to. So of course you all know what this is. This is the Bang Yearning, Yearning by Simple Colors, and it's a oh this pink. I mean this purple is just the shit. Look at that purple. Damn. Love it. So this is Journey by Simple Color. The next color I have is a very odd color. It's like a gold orange. Like, I can't explain it. It's just very golden and bronze look. So, I bought it because I thought it would be a nice, fun lip to do with a nice bronze, like, tutorial or something. And this one is called Calypso. So, this is Calypso. And you see that? It's more pigment than it appears on camera, but it's like a very subtle, but I love it to death. And this one is called Goddess. It is a very girly, light pink, and it really shows up well on your lips. It looks amazing on top of like a nude lip. If you do like nude lipstick and put this on top, it's very pretty. So that is Goddess right there. It's a very icy, sheer looking lip gloss, and it goes with, well with like mostly, you know, I had this for a long time. Look at it, it's all beat up. <laughs> 
this is one of my favorites this is blushing and I had this for months like seriously and it still works but when you first get it it is more pigmented than it is now but it's just a nice nude type just it's just blushing it's just so adorable like you can wear it every day and it lasts for a little while so this is blushing right here you see it's just a nice subtle just a nude look here it's called sandstone and I like it it's very interesting and mysterious it's more of those deep gothic looking elegant but sophisticated type look colors and that's sandstone right there and all these colors like I said it appears on your lips the exact same way my lips are lighter than my hand of course but you can see get a little idea of how they look and sandstone is right there so you see it's like a rusty type brown type right here i was just jumping the bandwagon but i wanted it so bad because i had this vision of me doing like a deep purple smoky gray look or something so i wanted this look color this is gray okay yes it's a gray look <laughs> and why it's gray i don't know but for some reason i think this color is gonna be hot if you know how to work with it so this is icy right here. You see that? It's literally like a gray lip. So I'm just so interested to see what I can do with a gray lipstick. So that's something very different. I don't think many people would particularly buy that color, but I wanted it and it shows up just like that on your lips. Cause when I tried it on, I was just like, but then I think it might actually for a become very long time. Day. I can't even like see what, which name this is I might have this already it's very similar to blushing but it's a little little sheer than that I don't know what color this is I'm sorry but it's like a I'm trying to think I bought it so much I'm trying to think of if I can think of the name of this color I don't know but it's a pink it's a very soft pink right there and it shows up the same the golden red I told you about which is a very sheer red nothing big or anything it's just very sheer and it's good to go on top of like any lip color you have to make it pop so that's golden red it's not that pigmented but it's a sheer gloss so it still works the other essentials I purchased were like lip pencils eye pencils this came from country dollar there is on everybody on my Facebook was asking what the hell is country dollar because somebody was stealing from country dollar and I was just like you steal from country dollar you an asshole you need to jump off the nearest cliff and die seriously everything's a dollar you, you can't afford like what's the problem it's a dollar so whoever steals from country dollar is just an asshole just stupid as hell like that's embarrassing I wouldn't even want to tell nobody in jail bro what you in here for stealing from country dollar seriously though it's a dollar so anyway country dollar sell these things called princess cold eyeliner pencils and they're a dollar and I'm just doing swatches on them so you can see what they look like and they're very very nice and I'm I love them I have one more I don't know oh here it is and this one's a gray one so these are the princess princess the coal liners right here so I got a gold one a blue one a green one and a silver lip liners to the lipsticks so the liner I have on today is this one right here and it's that red right there very banging red it was five dollars for this one and this one is called always red we by use the Lonnie. same red um liner lip liner pencil for any red from any brand doesn't matter if they're the same brand or not I just got it because it was cheaper and you know this was cheaper than the um L'Oreal lip color so these two go together well and I'm like I'm really retarded because I don't know do you supposed to put your liner on first or your lipstick first because I don't know I sometimes I put it on first sometimes I do it afterwards so this was a complimentary lip ooh, lip liner and that's what it looks like so you can take this one lip liner you can buy just one of them and put them with every single pink 
look that we have here because it goes it complements all of them so don't think when you get one color you have to go buy that exact lip color just because it's next to it it's kind of get you like okay i got this lipstick so do i get the same lip liner by them no you can use any type of lip liner sometimes i even use eyeliner for my lips because i wasn't a really lip liner type person but yeah i can definitely do that i also bought a wet and wild shade stick i was looking for an affordable all black one but this one's kind of like a black sheer and it's number 135 graffiti that's what it's called and it's a black shade stick because i can't find any like drugstore shade stick so that's why i'm gonna do my super black eye and red lip tutorial i'm gonna use it with this because i wanted to do something using stuff you can buy from like walgreens i didn't want to do my bh cosmetic pass because it's easy to find a black anywhere so i wanted to use something that you can exactly go and buy and know what to get when i do my super black smoked out eye and my red lip eye remover this eye remover is pretty darn good i must say it's only two dollars because eye remover is like so expensive to me i mean if i'm paying like eight ten 13 20 dollars for some eye remover it may remove my actual eyeball and everything i mean it's just eye i mean eye remover i don't believe in paying so much money for an eye remover this was only two dollars sometimes it's 99 cent and it's by way and wow and removes what your eye makeup it does remove eye makeup and that's all you need to do other than that i'll get some vaseline rub it on face and take it off the getaway and it works visine, and this is an old trick you can always use visine eye drops or anything to add to your eyeshadows you dip your brush into the visine dip your um or is it vice versa i can't remember how it goes then you dip your brush into your eyeshadow then you put a little drop of visine on it or something and it makes your colors go pop like seriously it just makes it so ugh, so that's what I bought some visine for. Also, my eyes be messing up sometimes, so that's why I bought it. Also, bought some cotton balls. Y'all use cotton balls and some cotton swabs. Now, let me do a rant real quick. Did they? It's like, is there like a freaking demand for cotton or something? Did like the cotton people like just go on strike and then raise their prices or something? Did they run out of cotton picking workers or something? Seriously, don't you got machines nowadays? You know what I'm saying? Why is cotton balls and Q-tips cost four dollars? I don't understand. I was in Walmart and this girl, I just looked at them and I was like, oh hell no, I ain't paying four dollars for this. And I kept walking. Next thing you know, it was this girl, she's like a valley girl. She's like, oh my god, why are fucking Q-tips so too freaking expensive? And I turned around and said, girl, I said the same thing. She's like, oh my god, that is crazy. Why am I paying four dollars for Q-tips? I said, I don't know and we didn't buy them. But I bought them from Walgreens for three dollars. Like, why are Q-tips so much money? It's just a stick with cotton on them. So we're gonna go ahead and just do that next, and I'll holler at y'all later.